boy, here I come. Pumps in the bump, make you wanna hurt something. I can take your man, I don't have to suck some. Hey, 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 I'm um, what's happening? Hypnotic in my drink, that's right. Shake your ass till it stinks, that's right. Just the moles on the beat, that's right. Put it down for the street, that's right. Guys, we are freaking out right now. Um, Mattel Creations decided to drop the second leg, the second half of their Barbie movie dolls. <laughs> now this wouldn't be a stressful situation if the first wave wasn't a stressful situation. Like immediately on Mattel Creations, they all sold out. Luckily, Amazon, they were on there for a pretty standard time, like around like a month. So we had some time with them. Um, Walmart and Target too, they were on there for a little bit. But definitely knowing how successful the Barbie movie was and how like a lot of non-doll collectors are starting to like really get into Barbie again. <laughs> we're a little worried. We're a little worried for the second drop because the roller skating Barbie and Ken, they're already sold out on Mattel Creations, but I mean, I know that they're gonna be in stores. Um, I know that they're gonna make their way probably onto Amazon and all that stuff too. But it's gonna be like bloodshed. It's gonna be a battle trying to get to them. Um, but we're not really that worried about them right now because they're 25 bucks, we'll wait. Um, the main doll that we are really, really looking forward to is Patriarchy Ken. I like to call him Patriarchy Ken. He's Fursu Ken, not Fur... <coughs> fur Coat Ken. We need him bad. We need him bad. He comes in a very, very awesome box. Like the Barbie movie logo is scratched out and it just says Ken, like... It's the one doll that has a specialty box. Not even the weird Barbie, the regular weird Barbie, comes in a specialty box. And I'm freaking out because we just bought him out of the fact that I don't know if he's gonna be available on Amazon or anything else. I would assume so, but I don't wanna risk it and take my chances. So I bought him with like shop pay, whatever, for installments and <sighs> Like, I need Amazon to come out with him so I can get him with my gift card that I have. So then I can return that one or, like, cancel that order. So please, Amazon, do your thing. Like, I need him bad. Hello, everybody. My name is Aqua Elixir, or at least my Twitter handle is. And saying that, knowing that Twitter is technically no longer a thing that's called X, is a little odd. But trust and believe we're still going to be calling it our Twitter handle. Because it's Twitter, not X. Fuck that. But welcome or welcome back to the channel. Now before we start, I know that it's a boy doll. I know that we're reviewing a boy doll today. But don't click off, like, we're gonna have some fun. Because it's not just any old boy doll that we're talking about. We're talking about the Hayden Williams 2018 Bratz Collector Cameron. So it's one of the better boy dolls. And I'm very, very excited because, ah. Uh, this collab was such a strong collab in my opinion. I mean, hello, I literally have the poster right there. I love what Hayden Williams did with these brats. I know that there was a lot of flack and a lot of negative discussion about these dolls and I understand quality control wise, like that sucks. But that was not his fault. His designs on their own and just from Hayden Williams's, you know, own creation, that is iconic. I love every single one of those dolls. Unfortunately, I do not have every single one of them. Uh, we started out with Chloe, because last year she was $30 on Amazon Prime Day. So I got her before she sold out. And I'm very, very happy because I absolutely love her. She's gorgeous. Like these boots, these snakeskin boots, you're joking. And ugh, the off the shoulder, like I'm gonna cry. The only other doll that I have from the 2018 line is Yasmin. And let's just say it's been a tumultuous journey with her because honestly, it still gets me pissed off. So I honestly could have had Yasmin before I had gotten Chloe because a couple of months, maybe a month or so prior to getting her, I saw that Yasmin was selling out on Amazon. So I looked on Walmart and there was someone who had her for like, like 70, 80 bucks, something like that. And I was like, oh, like, I don't know. But 
I was also checking Mercari eBay and they had her for more expensive. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just bite the bullet and get her. And I was so hyped. But then I remember the day that she was supposed to come in, the vibe was off. The aura was not there. So I was at work and I'm like, oh, like, I don't know why something's telling me she's not coming. Come home, there's no Walmart package. And I look at my phone and I see that the order was actually canceled a few days ago. <laughs> so apparently the seller had them listed somewhere else and they sold and forgot to take the listing down from Walmart. So I was really pissed. And it took us until, I wanna say earlier this year. It was like some months ago. But one of the loveliest people on Twitter at Bratz Kiana, they had her because they were like selling her. And I'm like, yo, I slid up in them DMs real quick. I was like, hey baby. You got her, so they were so nice. And they gave me Yasmin. And it was so funny too, because when the package came, on the label, I guess I forgot to give them my name. And instead they just put Aqua on the box. And it was just, it was such a serve. But here she is. Well, the hat is covering her face, but the face is done. Like everything else is gorgeous. I love her. I love these like boots, even though it's like a sock cover and then the shoe, I love it. But yeah, thank you, Brass Kiana. Thank you, Bunny. Yeah, we do not have Sasha or Jade, unfortunately, because they sold out years ago. But hopefully one day, like they are definitely a grail up there because that Sasha is everything. That Jade is everything. I don't want to be shit out of luck of getting Cameron. So before he sold out, because there's only a few of him left on Amazon, and I was hoping that he'd go down in price so that I could get him, but it wasn't looking like it. Like Amazon Prime Day, like they did not want to put him on sale. I was pissed. So we got him regular price, but I don't care. Like I knew that I needed to get him for my collection before he like indefinitely sold out. So yeah, this was a need. Before we even get into him, and I'll show like the box and everything, we need to talk about Hayden Williams because I have been a follower of his since some years. It's been like since 2014, I wanna say. And Hayden, if you are watching this video, I bet you are, but if you are, I just wanna let you know how big of a fan I am, especially with the Bratz artwork that you've done. I remember just being so excited whenever Hayden would post about something Bratz, just waiting for the next Bratz artwork to like drop or release. Um, because he truly is one of those artists who knows the Bratz brand well. And every single time, like his artwork never missed. And there are just so many that just go through my mind like every now and again. Like I remember for the 19th anniversary, he did Oh my god, such a good job. Like Chloe was in like a full black dress and then like a fuzzy white bag. I remember Jade was in like a really cute intricate top and then like these crescent shorts. Yasmin with like the vibrant pink and like the vibrant green. But Sasha really took the cake for me. Like this Sasha changed the trajectory of my life. Her like very like nude brown color scheme that she had with her and then the hairstyle. Like Hayden, you are insane. You are insane for this. It's sick and twisted that she was never made into a doll. And then what else? Speaking of Sasha, the newspaper print dress. And then from that same uh, artwork collection, the jade, I remember with the chopsticks and then her pose. Oh. Don't get me started, don't get me started. There's just so many. Like, and I'll put them on the screen, but I know for Sweetheart, he did one with Megan and Kobe and it was so good. Kobe looked so great. And like the little like lip shirt, the crimps in Megan's hair. I wanna say that she had crimps. I'm like going off of memory. And then there was like a date night collection and in that one, it was really, really cool. I remember Chloe looked so sickening. She had like the little, mm, oh, with Cameron. And then 
My favorite was definitely Sasha and Cade. Cade looked so handsome. And like, especially in that green color scheme, yes. And then Sasha, again, like needed that Sasha and a doll. What else? Like there's just so many, like going through my mind right now. He reused, I wanna say, the 19th anniversary Sasha. And then there was a Felicia. And she had like very vibrant, it was like blue and orange, maybe green too. And then there was a Nevra that was very like wildlife safari-esque with the animal prints and stuff. It was so beautiful, so beautiful. And I think that that one was like more so for like, you know, praising black women and praising the black girlies in the brats world. Um, there's just been so many and I love it. I love Hayden Williams's Bratz artwork. He is so talented, even just in general, because I remember just living for all of his like Disney inspired ones. Um, whenever Clueless had an anniversary, he would do something for it. And I love that. Um, even just like Mermaid, his celebrity artwork is great. He's very, very talented. And when this lineup came about, it was a gag. And I remember even just on Instagram when Bratz and Hayden was like posting and there was like the updated sigils, the updated logos, and then um, the first outfit, the second outfit, then we finally got the dolls, and then them in the first and second outfit. It was insane. It was a time to be alive. But unfortunately it was 2018, I was like in college, I did not have the money. Like we were just starting college, so I was broke. So I was just always on Amazon looking at their stock images, but not being able to get them. But I swear to God, if I had the chance, I would have gotten Sasha and Jade so quick. If I would have knew the information that I did now, I would have gotten them. Like, who cares about the money? But here we are, and we just have three out of the five now. And we're going to get into Cameron. So take this in, because this box is truly amazing. The trapezoid, but it's also kind of like different. It's not a structured regular trapezoid it kind of has like a little bit of a slant we love how it's a little different the iconic infinity handle and then on the side we have everything about hayden so actually let me read this british fashion illustrator and designer hayden williams combines his love of fashion with pop culture his work has amassed a huge following and has been praised by the elite of fashion and music a Bratz fan and collector since their 2001 debut, Hayden dreamed of one day designing for the iconic brand. Now his dream has become a full-blown reality. <laughs> and honestly, like, I would love, I know that this would never happen, but I would love for Hayden to like collab again with Bratz. I, if I could have it my way, I would love for Hayden to be a part of the Bratz team. I feel like he has a lot of good insight into what the Bratz truly evoke and like, their nature and all that stuff and just their roots maybe like every single time that he's come out with artwork and especially when he came out with these dolls he captured the essence of them so well he would be amazing for the team and especially for the new play line if there is any new play line who knows but if there was it would be so insane if he was like a part of it i feel like he could really update their fashions and stuff i digress i love the blue flame backdrop because like all of them had a different cutesy little backdrop. So his was a flame. I loved Jade's because it was very like oil slick, kind of acid trip. Sasha was like a camo, like a grayscale camo. And then I remember, I think Yasmin had like a floral kind of background. And then Chloe had a feathery kind of background. But yes. And this artwork is just excellent. Brats Collector. And then, yeah, the back of the box has the full-blown artwork of both outfits. And then it also says, Hi, my name is Cameron, but my friends call me The Blaze because my writing skills are fire. My fashion passion is laid back, edgy, and cool. You can catch me in the garage, working on my bike, or shredding the half pipe. And I love how it adds a little bit more because the nicknames were just like, Oh, like, I'm The Blaze because, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm fire. But yeah, so now we are going to get into him. After all this talking, we're gonna get into him and I'll see you guys in a sec. Here it is, the iconic Hayden Williams poster with everybody on it. Literally ripped to these two. <laughs> I miss them so much. As if I've had them before. Now, 
I don't know, maybe I'm the only one, maybe I'm just going crazy. I used to think that this poster was double-sided. Like, I feel like I remember way, way, way back when these dolls were like first released and like seeing people unbox them, that the poster had like one side with all of them in their regular outfits and then on the back it would have everybody in their second outfits. Am I making shit up? Am I making shit up? Like, now here is Cameron. Yes, actually, let me take his bag off of him first. So his bag is this black leather messenger bag. Pretty simple, but also I like how it's simple. It's not like some crazy pattern or anything like that. It's very, it's giving the collector vibe. Like all of them have a very mature kind of feel to them. Um, but yeah, and there's like a silver little buckle on it. Opens up, has some like filling in it to just fill up the bag. And then yeah, a little buckle on the strap. I mean, Bratz always knew how to do it with their bags, making them fabric. Oh yeah, and then the strap goes all the way to the back. Ooh, little handle. So here's our doll. Here is Cameron. And his hair is kind of giving pompadour vibes, but it's literally just kind of like slicked back. Um, but all along the sides, it is flocked, which is nice. And then he does actually have a couple of earrings on one ear, none on the other. His face is really handsome. Now, I really like the screenings on these dolls, other than like the quality control, because I do know that they'd be looking a little wonky, but just in the terms of like styling, I love how the screenings are very different. They're very, as if they're taking Hayden's sketches and bringing them into a doll form. So I really like the attention to detail on that. Um, so yeah, his outfit is insane. Now, first things first, we have kind of like a quintessential Bratz boy necklace. It's just kind of like this beaded, kind of like a chain. His jacket is such a moment. Both of his outfits have really nice statement jackets, but this one definitely takes the cake. It's leather or pleather and it's gray. And then all along the collar and the bottom and the cuffs, it's just this nice, really soft fur. And then underneath, we're actually gonna take this off now. He has on a full button up. Funny because I used to actually have this in like sophomore year of high school. And then there's like actual buttons on it, which is nice. Um, Oh, okay. I was gagged for a second. I thought that to remove the shirt, you had to unbutton the buttons, but no, it's Velcroed in the back. Like, <laughs> I almost gasped. And then his pants are just kind of plain, but the, oh, wait, ooh. <gasps> okay, didn't realize the chainage that he has on the side. Get into it. He has a couple of chains there. And then his boots. I love these, like, nice like professional dress shoe kind of boots. Yeah, these are really cool. So that is the first outfit. Now let us get into the second outfit. Alrighty, we have him in a second outfit now. And first things first, he does come with some very cute ice blue sunglasses. Just something simple, translucent. But this outfit, first things first, I will say, I love that they made the sleeves a little bit wider so that the layering isn't that much of an issue. I will say the sweater underneath, low key kind of builds up in this sleeve, it didn't. But in this sleeve, it kind of like bunched up right here in the middle. So you'll probably see it's a little hefty right here. So it was a little hard getting this sleeve on, but we managed to get the jacket on for the most part. And I do commemorate them for giving the little room the allowance so that you can layer up. But here is the jacket. It's a white leather jacket. And the sleeves have some really cool detailing. We have this one strap and buckle and then um, kind of like a faux zipper. Same thing on this side. And then all along the bottom, 
there is this like buckle and belt kind of loop situation. Now taking this off, oh wait, before I take this off, the front has like a nice zippered going into the collar situation. Very cute, we have a little stud detail right there. And then the collar, the back collar. It's a really nicely made jacket. And now we're gonna take it off. <laughs> and I literally remember having a sweater like this. Do I still have it? I don't think I do. I think I gave it away. <laughs> yeah, so it's this really cool, very, again, nicely made black, white, kind of multicolored sweater. Not multicolored, but yeah. His pants have a couple of rips in them, which I think is a nice little detail because I know Brad's boy pants can be a little boring, a little basic sometimes, but I like the little rip details in these. And then the shoe is basically the same as the first, like the mold, but it is in a different color. So I do actually like the variety of that because Brass Boy shoes can also be really, really boring, but I do love this mold. And I'm happy that it's like, okay, we have the black one and then we have this nice kind of tan color. Really pretty. And it goes really well with this outfit. But that is Cameron. Let's get the girls out. And this is everybody. I love them. If I could get my hands on a Sasha, if I could get my hands on a Jade. <laughs> I lost my voice even saying her name because Jade just serves. I would love that so much. This line is so iconic. Hayden, thank you. I know this is like six or so years down the line from you actually releasing this, but thank you for collaborating with Bratz and making some really, really gorgeous dolls. I love this line and I hope that the secondhand market can lower those prices down because they're getting a little too insane with them. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our little Cameron review, even though I know it's a boy doll, but it's a really good boy doll. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because as always, we have a lot more to come. Something really big is coming. Let's just say, let's just say that it might be in a couple of videos down the road, but it's coming. Something really, really grand something really holy and comment, you know, do you guys have any of the 2018 dolls? Who is your favorite from the 2018 dolls? If you've seen, if you followed Hayden for however many years as I have, is there any Bratz artwork that sticks out to you guys that you love? And if you're Hayden and you're watching this, thank you. Thank you. You're amazing. That is it for today, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.